Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Today I'm going to help you with a specific issue that many students struggle with. That is, how to begin your part two talk in the IELTS speaking test. If you've studied the speaking test section of my website or watched lots of my videos, you'll know that I recommend that you never try to memorize answers. However, it is a good idea to create and practice a few opening phrases for part two that can be adapted for use with a wide range of topics. I'll also show you an easy way to improve your opening sentence for top marks. Here are some ideas for phrases that are easy to learn and include in an opening sentence. The one I'd like to tell you about is... My favourite was... I'd like to tell you about, let me tell you about, personally I'd have to say, the one who stands out is, I'm going to tell you about, now for some examples of how to use them in your IELTS speaking exam. Now let's look at the first four with a sample part two question and opening phrase. Describe something you do to stay healthy. I do many things that contribute to a healthy lifestyle, but the one I'd like to tell you about is... Describe a TV programme you've watched recently. I have watched several good TV programmes recently, but my favourite was... Describe a day out that you enjoyed. I'd like to talk about the time I went to... Describe a special friend. Let me tell you about my friend Kia. Here are the other three examples. Discuss the meaning of happiness for you. Personally, I'd have to say that being happy... Describe the best teacher you have ever had. I've been lucky enough to have had several really good teachers, but the one who stands out is... Describe a photograph you particularly like. I'm going to tell you about a photograph I took. For some of these introductions, you could follow the first sentence with a phrase such as, I've chosen this because, for example, describe a place that is special to you. I'd like to tell you about a field not far from where I live. I've chosen this place because it's where I love to walk my dog. Now you have a two-part opening and have set yourself up nicely for the main part of your talk. Using any of these openings will get you off to a great start with part two of your speaking exam. However, there are a few simple things that can be done to your opening sentence to increase your score. I've chosen one of our topics and opening sentences to work with, but any of the examples could be improved in similar ways. This is the topic and opening sentence we'll be working with. Describe a TV programme you have watched recently. I have watched several good TV programmes recently, but my favourite was... Now there's nothing wrong with this sentence, but we can easily make it better. Many students repeat the words on the cue card, as I've done in this example. I've underlined them for you. They are watched and recently. That's fine, but in order to get a band six and above, you'll need to paraphrase the topic sentence and show that you're able to use your own language, like this. I've seen several good TV programmes in the last few weeks, but my favourite was... I've simply changed a couple of the key words to show the examiner that I can say something in more than one way. This will gain me marks. You could also name a particular type of TV programme instead of repeating TV programmes. For example, I've seen several good documentaries or comedies or dramas in the past few weeks. There's something else we can do with the vocabulary to impress the examiner even more. In the original sentence, I used the phrase good TV programmes. Good is a very ordinary word and would be better replaced with a stronger adjective, such as I have seen several excellent TV programmes in the past few weeks. 
Now let's see what adjectives would work with our different types of TB programmes. How about these? I have seen several thought-provoking documentaries. I've seen several extremely funny comedies. I've seen several exciting dramas. Pause the video for a moment and see if you can think of any others. Finally, don't forget to use contractions. So instead of I have seen, contract to I've. If you do, you'll get a better score for your pronunciation. So let's conclude by looking at the opening sentence we began with and an improved version, the original one. I have watched several good TV programmes recently, but my favourite was, and our improved version. I've seen several extremely funny comedies in the past few weeks, but my favourite was. The second version is a much stronger sentence and would make an excellent opening to a talk on this topic. Once you've got the introduction out of the way, you're straight into the main part of your talk. If you're aiming for a band 6.5 and above in your speaking exam, these are the sorts of things you need to be able to do with language. The more you practice, the better you'll get. It's these small improvements that will gain you the marks to get a high band score. Just think about the language you're using and show the examiner how flexibly you can use it. My website ielchjackie.com is full of help for all aspects of the IELTS speaking test, all created to save you preparation time and to ensure you get the score you want. I've put links to some of the key pages in the notes below this video. And of course, you have all my other YouTube videos to watch and learn from. Keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.